Okay. So the first question, this is the solution to written homework 10. The first question, uh, we want to write, uh, we want to factor this, and we want this to be written as the sum of cubes. Okay. Well, what's the cube root of 512? So 512, uh, cube root of this, that's 8. So this is, so this is y cubed plus 8 cubed, the sum of cubes. Well, one of the formulas you are expected to memorize is that a cubed plus b cubed factors in the following way. It factors as uh, a squared, uh, sorry, a plus b multiplied by a squared minus ab plus b squared. So y is a and 8 is b. So this factors as y plus 8 multiplied by y squared minus 8y uh, plus 64. Okay, and this factors no further. So this expression, we want to factor it as much as possible. Okay, so <clears throat> this factor, x minus 1, occurs here and also here. And <clears throat> the exponents are negative a third and two thirds. So that means that we can factor out some power of x minus one from both of these terms. So generally speaking, it will look like this, that we'll be able to have some, ex some expression in here, and then we'll have x minus one right here, and the question becomes, what power of x minus 1 do we want to factor out? Which one is it? So is it going to be that one, or is it going to be that one? So we take these two, we have to factor out an exponent. So what's the rule for choosing what exponent to factor out? Well, the rule is you take the one that is smallest. So that means further to the left, so on the, on the number line. So negative 1 third is further to the left, so we will factor out negative 1 third. Okay, so what does that mean? So we'll get in here, because we're factoring out x to negative uh, one-third, when you factor out an exponent out of, a, out of a sum, the net effect is that you are subtracting uh, that exponent from the terms inside. So we're subtracting negative one-third. So this would be x squared, and then we would have x minus 1, and its exponent will be negative a third, and then minus negative a third. So that's the same as adding a third. And then minus 4, x minus 1. Its exponent will be two thirds, and then we'll add a third to that. Okay, and then we have this x minus one to negative one third here. Okay, so then this would be x squared. 
and then negative a third plus a third, that's zero. So this to zero, well, that's a one. So I'll write that one there. And then minus four. Two thirds plus one third, that's one. So that would be x minus one to one. And then this would be x minus one to negative a third. Okay, let's simplify what's happening inside. So this is exponent 1. Uh, that would be x squared times 1, so I won't write that, and then minus 4, and that's to 1. So minus 4x, and then plus 4. And then this is uh, x minus 1 to negative 1 third. Okay, so then now, this expression, I could write it with a uh, positive exponent if I put it in a denominator. So that would be x minus 1 to 1 third. And then x squared minus 4x plus 4 uh, that actually factors into x minus 2 squared. And that's the answer.